Hi, I'm Dave from Reva Racing. And I'm Jerry from GreenHulk.net. Today we're going to walk you through our new Reva Gen 3 power cooler for Yamaha Watercraft. Yeah, I'm really excited to see this thing. I know you guys made a lot of uh, new improvements. Why don't you walk me through some of the changes that you've made to it? Absolutely. Um, you know, previous to this, we had the Gen 2 power cooler. Right. This is our all, all new Gen 3, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of upgraded uh, features. The cooler core itself is huge. So this is the actual area yeah, I see that- see it's much bigger than the previous Gen 2 model. Absolutely, it's yeah. rated for 600 horsepower. Oh, wow. So you can use this for all your modified applications, yeah. heavy boost, whether it's supercharged, turbocharged, whatever, this thing will cool your intake temps way down. And this model fits all Yamaha supercharged skis? Absolutely, it'll fit the SHO class, it'll fit the SVHOs, all the Yamaha hulls, that includes the FZR, the GP class, and all the FX. Yeah. Uh, I see you got an independent flush port here. Yeah, this is a dedicated flush port, so you can hook your, your quick release right on there and it'll flush any uh, debris out of the cooler. If right. you use it in uh, salt water, it's nice because it, it keeps the cooler really, uh, really clean inside. Also, this point right here is a sacrificial zinc anode. Right. So Very for important for salt water riders. Absolutely. And uh, we sell these as replacements as well because they do wear out over time. Yeah. yeah. And then the end tanks are cast aluminum, lightweight cast tanks, inlet and outlet here. And of course, the big tile 50 millimeter blow off valve, yeah. which this really saves your supercharger class. Absolutely, that's, that's actually the best, best blow off valve on the market yeah. for these skis. Yeah, so it's a, it's a really nice cooler and it, it actually mounts up where your factory air filter mount is in the Yamaha hull. That's right. Uh, let's talk about that, the, uh, the mount bracket system you guys have now. This flange was designed to mount up to the plastic mm -hmm. OEM mounting bracket, uh -huh. and now this cooler is including an aluminum replacement for that plastic yeah. bracket that gives you more adjustability. I got you. I noticed that the, uh, the bolt holes were slotted, gives you some adjustability. Also, it's a good idea that you guys are uh, supplying that bracket because I know a lot of guys, like myself, took the stock plastic bracket out and threw it away. Right. So now it comes with a, a solid aluminum mount bracket. Right, so that's included. All of the mounting hardware that you need is included. Yeah. And this interfaces perfectly with our engine cooling upgrade kits. Okay. So we offer an engine cooling upgrade kit for the SVHO engines. Right. And we offer a separate one for the SHO engines. That's right. And they both interface with this cooler perfectly. Okay. It's offered at a really good price point also. Yeah, it really is. You guys uh, did a real good job of getting the price down and uh, making it uh, affordable for most people. Yeah. If you look at it closely, the, the construction is top notch. The, the end tanks are machine billet aluminum. They're not pressed steel or pressed uh, aluminum. They're, they're uh, billet. All the welds are really nice. Mm -hmm. All the, the hose clamps are all non-perforated, you know, top shelf equipment. Right. The hoses are all... Uh, I noticed that they're very, very rigid, right, solid. Right, turbo spec, high temp silicon sure. hoses. And the, the kit includes this stainless steel bracket, which helps cradle the hose. Gotcha. Keeps everything in yeah, place. Yeah, it's real solid. I was pulling on it earlier. Mm -hmm. I noticed mm -hmm. you guys use a really high quality uh, worm gear clamp. Exactly. That mounts up to your factory throttle body, and this takes you back into the charger, mm -hmm. and obviously from, from the uh, supercharger to the cooler right, right here. So the um, blow-off valve is actuated with this vacuum line. Yeah, I see you've got a, a dedicated port for the blow-off valve. That's, that's really important. The blow-off valve should always have a dedicated boost reference line. Yeah. Dave, let's have a better look at the mount bracket system. Sure. So this is our new aluminum mounting bracket. Mm -hmm. Notice the slots here right. that allow the cooler to come forward and back. Sure. Gives you a lot of room to move the cooler back and forth for yeah. perfect fitment. Yeah. Also the fact that it's an aluminum replacement bracket, if somebody has discarded their original factory bracket uh, with a previous intercooler installation, sure. they can now bolt this right in place. Yep. It attaches right to the factory hull mounts Very and nice. secures your cooler. I noticed that uh, it's also rubber dampened where the intercooler itself mounts onto the mount bracket. Exactly, yeah, exactly. That's, that's a very, it's very it's riding system. on that rubber dampening system. Right. So it's really secure. It's mm -hmm. tucked out of the way. It's very easy to access your engine. All engine components are easy to get to because yeah. this cooler is pushed out of the way. I noticed that you got clear access to the oil filter right here. So all changes won't be a problem. It's not right. weight whatsoever. Plenty of clearance for your oil filter. Um, plenty of clearance for the engine. Yeah, and a flush port. Right there, easy access. Easy to access. Couldn't be that. easier. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a very, very clean installation. It really is. You guys did an excellent job with this. Thank you, Dave. One thing I noticed: uh, the power filter placement works perfectly with the placement of the intercooler. Plenty of clearance there. Everything looks great. That's correct. Our, our development team always takes into account the complete system when they're designing yeah, sure. something. So the intercooler 
is tucked out of the way. Mm -hmm. The air filter comes through, plenty of clearance for all components. Right, you guys did a really nice job of creating this new intercooler. Appreciate you walking me through it. Thank you, thank you very much, thank Jerry. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, guys.